Hello YouTube, this is B.A.R. number here with another review. <clears throat> and um, we are, hold on, let me stop this a second. Alright, we are going to review the Virtual DJ Remote. Guys, for Virtual DJ 8 that just been released. Now, I have the same skin that's um, viewing on my phone, but you get to actually see it in its natural color because my Mac, my uh, monitor is displaying yellow right now, so um, it's kind of giving me a hard time. But um, this is the skin, uh, the Pioneer DJ skin. Um, by a DJ that customized the skin to look like the Pioneer. Um, I don't believe it's the Nexus, though, but um, it's the type of gear that um, is the Pioneer uh, CDJ series. You could do everything that is duplicated on my mobile phone that is on the actual screen itself. Um, the only problem is with this skin is it, it's not the original Virtual DJ uh, skin where you get um, a bigger layout. Um, I'm calling this the professional layout. Um, yeah, um, everything looks tiny and the knobs look like they're hard to use. Um, I've been able to only use basic features with this. So um, we're going to play a track. You can scratch. You, you can do all the functions that your Pioneer gear has. Uh, my tablet isn't compatible, so it probably would display a lot bigger on there. Um, I may need to get a new tablet. Trade this one in, so... Um, so I can use the Virtual DJ Remote. Probably get an iPad, maybe, on the summer. Um, so then I can download the Virtual DJ Remote for the um, iPad. And then just use that strictly for remote access. But um, this is just an overview for you guys. Uh, you can use all the... Okay, so I can use everything with the standard effects. Like you can bring your volume up and down, guys. You can use your loops. And you can use your pads down here. So everything you can do here 
Um, you can't, I don't think you can see my mouse on here. Let me bring it up here. Alright, no, you don't see my mouse, you just see the pliers. Now let me show you, you could do everything. If it was on a tablet, it'd be easier to use. On a smartphone, you can do everything here. See now, if I touch everything on the thing, you can see it moving on the phone. I'm going to use my mouse for this, but you can do everything. The loop rolls. You can move the crossfader, uh, the pitch up and down. I'm uh, doing it from my phone, and it's replicated on to my screen. Okay, and you could do your equalizations and everything on the tablet it would look really neat um, I will do an update better video of this just to give you an idea of what it does um, if I get an iPad I'm thinking about maybe the iPad Pro this summer maybe um, so I have it on a real big screen but then I can walk around at a gig and still do it um, I also want to show you within, within the, the virtual DJ remote, you can change your custom skins. So, like, I'll show you the normal virtual DJ uh, skin that you can, you guys can get. Um, there, I'll show you all of them. You can get the gold. Just like on the screen. Now, I had the Pioneer one on the screen, but um, there I can have that. Here's the virtually Pioneer. That's a little better. It has a lot more pro controls to it. Okay, so that's that skin. Um, here's the virtual DJ 8 skin. That's the normal skin. Now that's not... It's not the one for... For the remote itself. Here's ones with big decks. You can move everything. 
Alright, uh, you can do the new mark one. Now, as, as I'm clicking this, it's changing it real time, guys. We got a new mark skin that I have. Is a Hercules black. So if you didn't want the classic gold, you do that. So, um, this is B.A. Hardenberg here with the, the actual remote. I am going to do a part two to this video so you can actually see the interface of the remote. This is almost like a remote desktop type of thing, but it works really good with virtual DJ, no latency problems, nothing. And that's because I'm running it on a Mac. So we don't have any issues with that. So this is B.A. Hardenberg here. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.